I think it would be funny, you know, what we should do now is flip yeah. from a male workplace, lads going around. Mm -hmm. that, that's the kind of shenanigans they do, you know, mm -hmm. pranks and stunts. Um, but I think there's a bit of a different culture perhaps in like a, a lady workplace maybe or yes. a, a more female dominated workplace. Girls get it done. Dad. Yeah, girl, that's right. You know, sometimes you just got to like put your hair up in a bob and get shit done. But um, <laughs> Girls get it done. That's right. That's that's damn right. And these girlies are getting it done. We've got a viral TikTok that we... <laughs> Gen Z boss in a mini. Gen Z boss in a mini. This is such a hard. I, I don't know how to explain my fascination with this because I I um I find it to be cringe and annoying, but at the same time, it's kind of an earworm. If that makes sense. An earworm. Do you I know what that means? Like a like like you're invested. An earworm is like when you hear a song on the radio and it sticks in your head and you can't get rid of like the tune. Right. I've got Gen this. Gen Z boss in a mini. I kind Gen of. Gen Z boss in a mini. It's this weird audio stim. I kind of like it. I don't know how to. I don't know how to we explain you. myself. You're very special. Um. What? So. But I think. Do we that, know? Do we know what kind of business they run? Is it one of those like? Yeah, you see like businesses doing TikToks and stuff to enhance their well business. So yeah, I think <laughs> there's something is? like is that it? going on. I don't know if it's... I don't know if I subscribe to this whole idea. I don't know if someone... What idea? Well, just like if someone came up to me and said, um, you know, we'd really like it if you did like a dance or something. And Okay, but I, just I, don't, know I don't... I just don't know if I could do it. Personally, I don't think that's exactly what's going on. Let's watch the video and we can, we can dissect it further. Uh, but let's get into it. Oh, my goodness. Gen Z boss and a mini. Gen Z boss and a mini. Itty bitty titties and a bomb. Itty bitty titties and a bob. Itty, itty bitty titties and a bob. Fuck yeah, rock that bob, girl. Five and five point three in attitude. Five foot three in attitude. Five foot three in attitude. This one I'm a bit confused about. Secret product and a trench. So I guess they're hiding the product they're working on. I suppose. Secret product and a trench. Secret product and a trench. <laughs> New Frank Green and a sneaky. Okay, what? So you did. Okay, okay. I didn't know. <laughs> I, I, sneaky, like, I actually like had a... to get Kath to help translate this this one for me. What the Frank Green and sneaky? Link. Yeah. So so I yeah. so she pointed out the Frank Green is a water bottle. It's a. So that's what brand. she's holding there. That's right. Right. Yes. So she's holding a New here, Frank this brand Green. of water. So bottle. she's got a new water bottle. Yes. Which and are... a sneaky link, which I said to you today. I thought men. Um, I thought that meant, I thought a sneaky link, I swear it is, like a sneaky link's like. A, hook, a dirty hookup or something? No, nah, just like you, you know, you're, it's a bit sneaky, but you're like having sex with someone. Okay. A sneaky link. It's not, I thought that's what it meant. <laughs> I thought a sneaky link is like you're having, you're having a bit of casual sex with someone. So it may have, it may have that origin, but it from what not. I understand. That, that might just be Connor headcanon. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a possibility. I don't know where that came from, but... From what I understand, like I said, the Frank Green is the water bottle and the... Um, the Sneaky Link. Sneaky Link is a clothing brand, I believe. Right, so she's I saying, believe I it's a new water bottle and, yes. a, and a... I think it's a clothing brand that the girlies like, if if you know what I mean. Right. So it's, it's yeah. Uh, but let's, let's finish this lovely video. New Frank Green and a Sneaky Link. New Frank Green and a Sneaky Link. Fake down hands and a hoop. Well, can you can you blame me for? By the way, when so, they when they're doing the sneaky link thing, she she's like she's showing her phone and then and then quickly ch turning it away. So I thought fair, she's saying like, fair. "Oh, you can see who I'm texting." No, you can't. Oh, you I, can oh I, no, you can't. Like I'm showing you who it is. Yeah, I thought sneaky link. That's why she was hiding it as sneaky well. Sneaky link, like she's showing I who she's think, sleeping with. Am I nuts? I'm not trying. Well, to Well, I just into thought it. sneaky link, like maybe a. I don't know, a, a website to a discount Why or something. I don't know. Right. It's a sneaky link. Man, are, they, you know? are they sneaky link? Who are these women? What are they doing? Well, okay. So Who are the these speculation, The speculation about these women, and, and I really think this is what's going on. They're just a this couple of... This is capitalism of, at its finest. Yeah. But by the way, I think these are Australian because <laughs> I think this uh, uh, the accent sounds Australian. Sneaky link and a... <laughs> what's the bottle called? <laughs> Frank Green. A Frank Green and a sneaky link. Um, 
fake tan and a hoop. But a bob, they say bob, whereas I feel like Americans would say bob. Or itty bitty bob. titties and a bob. And a bob. That's what an American would say. Itty bitty titties, titties and a bob. And a bob. Yeah. Itty bitty titties and a bob. Itty so bitty titties think, and a bob. Do you think they all got to come up with their own things? Yeah, so this is a trend. This is a TikTok trend where they just say shit that they have on them, I guess, in a funny way. It's just a little dance trend. My, what, what would yours be? I was thinking about that. I don't know. Like, you know, um, a cold pint of beer. Uh, and a hoot. And a <laughs> having a hoot. And a hoot, yeah. And a laugh. A cold, does that have the rhyme, though? No. A cold pint of pint, fake tan and a hoot. Nah, I suppose not. Fake tan, fake tan hands and a hoop. Yeah, fake tan hands. That's a funny specificity. Well, I think um, I have had a girlfriend before and I believe that's referring to the fact that the fake tan, you put it on your skin. Oh, and, and then and, you get it on your... Yeah, it, the okay. palm of your hand is always um, the see, most tan because I you see. put it on. That's what you use to so apply. So fake tan hands. I see. Okay. Okay. And a hoop. I don't know. <laughs> uh yeah it's it's is this um gen z it is gen z <laughs> and i believe that they're gen z australians <laughs> can you play again yeah please it's kind of addictive i like. think they're just girlies in the office that wanted to film something fun for tiktok i really don't think they actually wanted it to go this viral i think they just wanted to have a little fun well, it says there did you take this from the official instagram oh, i don't know this could oh, be a repost says, um, skincare, instagram yeah tbh skincare to be honest, skincare probably. Yeah. So I just don't. I just don't they're know. A this, it seems genuine enough that I think they just did it. It seems like a fun place to work. It's, but I don't think. I don't, I don't know. Maybe there was pressure to film this. Let Let's see. Let's watch again. That's the only way to know. No, they seem pretty happy about it. <laughs> they do. Gen Z boss and a mini. Gen Z boss and a mini. Yeah. So. Just so Gen quickly, Z boss in yeah. and a mini. So Gen a mini Z scope. boss. So is she saying that... She's the boss. But she's Gen Z. Yes. Gen Z's trying <laughs> to what? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Gen Z's trying to what? So oh, she's Gen this, this Gen Z boss in a mini is trying to cancel Eminem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. But, she, but that's... Isn't it funny this dropped the same day that Eminem's new album I, dropped? I, Do you think that's a coincidence? Oh, there's no Because there's thing. a Gen Z boss trying to... Well, but here's the thing. If I'm sorry, if you're a Gen Z and you're a boss of any kind, I'm not trying to sound like a dick, but you probably didn't earn that necessarily. How do you mean? Do you care to elaborate on that? Well, you're Gen Z. I mean, you haven't had, you've definitionally had less than 10 years in the workplace. I'm not saying that you can't be a boss what? if you're Gen Z. And I think it's great if they hire Gen Z and allow them to be part of the management team. That's fantastic. But I don't know. It's a weird flex, I guess, is what I'm saying. Yeah, am I going to get... <laughs> oh, no. Gen no, Z's going to come after me. I don't mean to diss this girl. Uh, pa uh, you know, power to us. Well, it's girl, like, but... who did I hear the other day was uh, my age? And I was... Oh, that was it. It was like... I heard someone my age was like 25 and they were... <laughs> like a millionaire already or some shit oh god yeah well yeah you know like w w what's stopping what's stopping your ass what's stopping you from doing yeah that? you know matt smith was 26 when you play the doctor Th look honestly That's something like that in a couple months that is, is i suppose you could say you know he, he worked his way through the industry to get there but you know i don't know i just i'm not trying to be mean i think matt was very relatively like new i think he just got lucky with an audition because he's great well obviously. it's it's luck and you know i don't mean to be mean to these these ladies slay queens obviously but uh -oh. if if you're in it like an office like this at a gen z age you, you probably are coming from like a somewhat wealthy or thank you dan class wow. you know you might you know your parents probably have comfortable <laughs> amounts of money i'm not gonna say you're like a rich kid necessarily Do you know that, but ben? I don't. I don't know Do that you know for sure. That? No idea. Maybe she's just a Gen Z boss in a mini. That's, yeah. No, you're right. I should stop being problem a... Problem uh... is, like, well, not the problem. But, like, it's the thing. It's, like, they... It looks like a fun place to work. Um, yeah. They probably... They probably have a, a hoot. Yeah, they do. They a pint clearly and a hoot, they do. What did yeah. you say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah a know, cold, I don't know. gold pint and a Look, hoot. It says here, like, this could all be bullshit. Again, it's the same with the Anton thing. I'm trying to find the original source. Mm -hmm. It's so much easier to find it. 
Thankfully, the Shrek guy was was very helpful, and, yeah, I, and yeah. I found the original Sourcing, source. The, the kind of clips we talk about is so hard to source them. Yeah, for the original well, I think it's skincare because it says here it says TBH skincare. So, so it must, must like a, work. Yeah, must be like a skincare thing. In a bomb. In a bomb. Can I? Okay, right, I'm not trying to be that guy. Now, but I'm, this not, now does, I'm not trying to be that guy. This does but. undermine the uh, the advertising thing though, because would an advertiser want itty bitty titties and a bob? That's a fine line, but it's just a funny thing to put in an app <sighs> if you want my honest opinion on that i think that um <laughs> yeah get the get the siren ready um, no i think the honest opinion on that is that you know there probably is like jokes around the office that maybe she has you know i see small breasts and she's making light of it mm. and so, uh, she probably likes it and i mean she says it right there itty bitty titties and a bob what? well come on I, can you cancel me over that? No, she's no. literally telling me that she has that. No, and, and to that's be fine. fair, I'm sorry if I need to. <laughs> no, look, one of the things that you know, because this is the thing as well. These videos get posted online, and then there's a certain section Where's of people context? on the itty on the internet on the itty on the itty on the internet who decide to see a video like this and they go, "Oh, it's cringe." Well that's a great excuse for me to mention how I hate women, you know? And they say like, wi you know, women voting was a mistake and all that. They, they go crazy. People say some crazy shit when, when cringe like this pops up. And I don't think, you know, I don't, I don't subscribe to any of that sort of garbage. Uh, I think what's interesting when you have a predominantly female workplace Thank like you, this, Dan. what you're saying is probably more right that maybe, you know, when it's women mainly in the workplace, they can joke or talk about, you know, itty bitty titties and make jokes about that kind of thing without it being sort of creepy or sexual harassment. Well, I'm sure. And I think that's great. I think that's lovely that they have a workplace where they're comfortable. Well, sometimes I wonder, like, and obviously we'll work on this. Sometimes I'm like, oh, am I, are we talking sometimes a bit too much? Like, because we are best friends. I'm like, oh, but does someone listening, mm. you know, do they get that um, type of humor? Similar here, it's like, you know, they might all yeah love to have a good laugh about her uh, itty bitty titties, <laughs> um, but you know, I'm sure someone out there would be like, "Oh, well, that's a bit odd." Well, that's why I I said that I don't think they were planning on this going as viral as it did, or, or maybe they weren't expecting it to. Do you know what I mean? It always goes that way, though. I know, but I think they were just wanting to. I think they're just having fun. No, nah, I do too. Right, I think people have been a little bit too mean. But let's let's see some. Most of you, Dan. <laughs> Mostly me. Oh, five foot three in an attitude. Five foot three in an attitude. Right. So is she? Is she like? She obviously so must she get the, made fun of for being short yeah, and all that. Yeah. But like, also, it's like, is she like the fieriest? Ah, you know? probably. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, you got a bit of an attitude, and you're also small, and you're small and angry, and that's the. That's the joke. I'm sure it's going around these days. <laughs> <laughs> it's an attitude, okay? She's yeah, not exactly. Yeah. yeah. Secret product in a trench. Secret product in a trench. Trench coat. Interesting. Um, Secret product. So this could be a skincare. That product. someone just had a trench coat. I mean, that's kind of an interesting fit, just for a random day. Oh, it's in the winter office. in Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's no. I think they're hiding their new product that they've been working on. Yes. Um, it's a tease. They're teasing Secret the... product in a trench. <laughs> Secret product in a trench. <laughs> It's so, it is it is an earworm, I'm telling you. Yeah, it kind of gets to me. New friend green and a sneaky link. New friend green and a sneaky link. She's but showing the fucking phone and turning it away. There's something on that. A okay. sneaky link. I will say as well, everyone else is doing a little something. She's going way crazy with it. She is like going wild. New friend green and a sneaky link. <laughs> a sneaky link. I mean, my Is goodness. Is it a sneaky link to a new fucking product? I don't know. Oh, damn. It was so quick. I they have to, to pause fit, it. They have to fit in like some... some um, <laughs> they have to fit in some like product, uh, like, you know, advertising at some point in this TikTok. Mm, yeah, well, I'll see if I can... We'll try and new pause it right on the... Oh, yeah. Okay, it's blurry. <laughs> yeah, let's read that. Yeah. Wow, very the clear. The whole point is it's a sneaky link, Dan. You can't read it. That sure is sneaky, I tell you what. Sneaky link. New friend green and a sneaky link. Fake dead hands in a hoop. Aren't they supposed to be working? Fake dead hands in a hoop. <laughs> <laughs> well, they just, they just got done laying off a bunch of uh, work-at-home employees. So but it's a big now, office. Now they're like, celebrating. 
that's the thing. It's like, that's the thing. It's like, oh, are they kind of like, oh, we'll do this in our lunch break. But then it's like, does that kind of preach into like the idea of a lunch break is meant to be to, for you to do whatever you want? Yeah. Rather than... I guess if they had to do this on a lunch break, then they're still kind of working. So that's kind but of then it might not be. It might be the opposite. It might be they're doing it at work. And then they don't have to but do then again, all I, that I much suppose work. I'm playing devil's advocate here, but I, I just want to say, because I feel mm. mean. I don't want to make fun of these. I don't want to make fun of these lovely ladies. But it's like, you know, maybe this can help. And it has to give their fucking company more uh, traction. Yeah, and that's not a terrible thing. Is, I mean, if this is true, the TBA skincare. If company. it is an ad, I think it's it's you know people saying oh they're not doing any work. It's an ad, so they well, obviously were providing, and it went viral. So well, if, here if I that, am. With that logic, then yes, they are uh, creating value for the company, and a lot of them think, stand around though. You know, I get that people were making a lot of jokes that like it's a big office seems like an HR team or something, and you know HR is always the one that lays off all the employees where people have to get laid off and it's it is it is a little bit i guess ironic oh, it or can't sinister. Be that dark, can it well it's or just can it <laughs> i mean it depends who's getting laid off you know what i mean if someone's like wait who's getting laid off what who 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 like during covid and stuff they do layoffs you know they they say they call in right. you get a video call you know right. hey, was, hey, that, Dan, was that happening you... in australia a lot not as much in as yeah, as in the states. Say. Okay, that you're right on that. Bruh. Which I think is I'm also just saying like it, I think that's also why I think Well, you're by the way, you're you're the only guy here. You haven't you haven't um fat checked this with the idea of them being Australian. But they do sound They sound Aussie. Australian. But and they kind of look Aussie too. Well, I was going to say I think people you can are just assuming tell by the way they dress. I think a lot of where it's gone wrong, viral, wrong. people are, are assuming that it's like a like some New York City office thing. I, I think, think so. this is probably Sydney. If it I does guess. look kind of. They do. They they kind of dress like Australian girls. Yeah, I, it's hard to. It, that's hard to the like coat explain. And the but link. yeah, you know the, the the trench coat and the sneaker link kind of go. That's a yeah. At, well, Frank Green, I think. But again, I don't. Maybe that's a American Frank water Green, bottle brand who, as well. I don't we, know. We all know here. As the famous, uh, yeah, the famous water bottle, yeah, the, uh, the water, the inventor, inventor of the water, the, the water, the water bottle man, yeah, yeah, the inventor of the water bottle. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah, <laughs> he's that, he's that big. Mm, mm. Well, that's great. Yeah, in this house, Frank Green is a hero, an Australian. You hero. know what I'm talking about? Um, well, you know, good. Yeah. Well, we wish all the these, best to these girls. No, I wish the ladies luck. Like, like, you know, she's a, she's a Gen Z bossa. She's a Gen Z boss, okay? Look, I've experienced some hate on the internet and it's never <laughs> nice, but at least at yeah. least I signed up for it. They could genuinely have just done a TikTok they thought maybe would get at most a couple thousand views. And yes. now they're going viral. So yes. I think the, you know, try to be nice at least because they're probably not yeah, signed no up for use. all this fucking bullshit that all this... Uh, this is why women. What did you say? Like this is yeah, why, exactly why they shouldn't be able to vote. Or something, yeah, you know? I saw something like that today about something separate. That was was that me or you? Sorry, I don't know. Um, yeah, I saw something like that today where it was like, oh, it's it's such a funny way. We to gave show... women the right to vote for this. It was like what? It was yeah, just some, exactly. it was, it was just yeah. some girls like Instagram photo. <laughs> I find that funny because it's and I like... was just so so confused as to why that's a. It's like a comment that has to be made. It's just odd. Yeah, I, I saw one annoying woman. Therefore, I I can say that I don't think they should be able to vote. Like that's crazy. <laughs> but that's also what they say that the feminists do about guys, where it's like, oh, they hate all men. You know, even though it's just a few bad apples or whatever. You're just doing the same thing if that's if that's how you treat these situations. I hope Dan is going to be okay. <sighs> After all your I'm sexist a, comments. I'm a yeah. Thank you. Well, I try to be a Gen Z boss, but. We'll we'll see, we'll see how that goes for me. Gen Z's trying to what? In a mini skirt. Yeah, well, yeah, I could rock. Maybe I could rock a mini. <laughs> Who knows? Why? Well, yeah, why not? 